Roper St. Francis Healthcare's House Calls TV. As we age, our immune system goes through multiple changes. Dr. Carolyn Word explains the process and what we can do to boost our immune system. As you get older, the immune system is not as quick to respond to infections. The other part is it's not as adaptive to respond to infections in terms of creating memory once it's seen an infection. In the elderly population, it's very important to recognize changes in your body. When they get the infections, the infections can come on faster and they can be harder to recognize. So in a lot of older patients, they won't present with the classic symptoms of an infection. I think up to 30% of elderly patients won't have a fever. Regular exercise and a balanced diet can help keep your immune system strong, but people over 65 also need vaccinations. The pneumococcal vaccine, as well as the vaccine that targets zoster, which causes shingles. The flu vaccine has been shown to be effective and there actually is a flu vaccine that's specifically aimed in the elderly population that provokes a more robust immune response so they get a stronger push from their immune cells. For more information call 843-402-CARE and for more House Calls TV visit us online at rsfh.com. I'm Angela May. Roper St. Francis Healthcare's House Calls TV.